Oh. How's it going, guys? This is Artman239. I'm wearing some fake glasses right now because I'm feeling like a hipster. Welcome to the Chatterbox. Now, this is a new segment that I wanted to start, just sort of giving my own opinion on some certain topics in the world. So today, I thought I would do my very first one because I just love feminism so much and social justice. I mean, it's so... It just speaks to me, man. I just don't know how... I could ever live without it. So today, I thought I would be going over some triggering jokes. So, let's get started. Now, there is a trigger warning with this video for any feminist social justice warriors watching right now. Prepare to get slightly wrecked. So after I go over all the jokes, I will be giving sort of my view on the whole situation with triggering jokes as a whole so that it can still be part of the chatterbox series and not just me just reading off jokes so let's get started warning i can't express this enough but if you are triggered easily please leave and just so you know i hate rape slash sexism and anything that, in that caliber but i know the difference between serious times and jokes it's good to joke about things for instance my life ha 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 ha, ha jokes lol mlg number one my grandpa said your generation relies too much on technology I replied, no, your generation relies too much on technology, and I unplugged his life support. Number two, two guys show up in heaven at the same time. First guy says he froze to death, the second guy tells him that he died of a heart attack. How did that happen? asks the first guy. Well, I came home and thought I heard my wife with another man, but when I searched the house, I couldn't find anybody. I was so stricken with remorse for the wrongly, for wrongly accusing my wife of the infidelity. I had a heart attack and died on the spot. Jeez, said the first guy. If you'd opened the fridge, we'd both be alive right now. <laughs> that one was good. It took me a while, but I got it. I got it. What's well, black and blue and brown and lies in a ditch? The brunette that has told too many blonde jokes. See, I'm a blonde that tells a lot of blonde jokes, so it's justified for me. What's the difference between two dicks and a joke? You can't take a joke. There's also a wrecked warning with this video I forgot to mention. You know, I've seen a lot on here, but I don't... Mm, I haven't really found a lot of pedophile ones yet. What do Jewish pedophiles say? Hey kid, you want to buy some candy? The worst part of being a pedophile is fitting in. Pedophiles are fucking immature assholes. What's white and 14 inches long? <laughs> Nothing. That is not entirely correct. Most five-year-olds are around 14 inches tall. And they can be white. We've got trumped, wrecked, trumped, and SWJ'd. Boom. A little black Jewish boy asked his father, Dad, am I more black or Jewish? Why do you ask? Replied the dad. The boy explains, Well, a guy at school is selling a bike for $150, I can't decide whether to haggle them down to 100 or just steal it. Wow. I also found some myself. I need to see if I can memorize them. Um, there's actually a video that I found of some some kid. He's at, he's actually pretty funny. Name like CZTO. Um, I'll put a link in the in a video of his that I found with like dank and triggering jokes. And so he had um, how do you pick up Jewish girl with a dustpan? And then there's like um, can't. Oh yeah, um, if Mike has $20 and Tyrone takes 16 what color is Tyrone? <laughs> Alright, let's look at some images on Google. That's gotta have some. If a guy has sex with a prostitute while she's sleeping, is that rape or shoplifting? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? Okay, this is a text one. Mom, I think I'm pregnant. What? I told you when a boy touches your boobs, say don't, and when he touches your vagina, say stop. I know, but when he was touching both, I kept saying, don't stop, don't stop. Face palm from the mom. Oh, God, it's so bad. A man walks into the bar for a drink, but is shocked when the bartender tells him this. A man walked into a cafe, went to the bar and ordered a beer. Certainly, sir, that'll be one cent. One cent? The man thought. He glanced at the menu and asked, how much for a nice juicy steak and a bottle of wine? A nickel, the barman replied. A nickel, exclaimed the man. Where's the guy who owns this place? The bartender replied, upstairs with my wife. The man asked, what's he doing upstairs with your wife? 
The bartender replied, the same thing I'm doing to his business down here. Oh god, that's terrible. Oh god, I don't even know if I want to say this one. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say it just to piss some people off. I was at a restaurant yesterday and, I, and my waitress had a black eye, so I ordered really slow. Why? Because she obviously doesn't listen. What's a redneck virgin? A 12-year-old who can run faster than her brothers. <laughs> oh, dude, this one's my favorite. Life is a lot like a penis. Simple, soft, straight, relaxed, and hanging freely. And a woman comes in and makes it hard. Oh! Okay, now, my friend actually texted me some. And these are... I'm not going to be censoring any of these, because that's kind of the point of this video. Just to see how many people I can piss off with jokes. Why does a hooker make more money than a drug dealer? Why? She can wash her crack and resell it. What's the difference between a feminist and the Bermuda Triangle? What? A feminist swallows more semen. I love these! I love them! Why does Santa have such a big sack? He only comes once a year. What are the best four years of a redneck's life? Sixth grade. What do you call a white orgy? A snowball. What do you call a black orgy? Mud wrestling. And what's a Mexican orgy? Family reunion. I had, a, I had sex with a woman last night, but she wouldn't stop screaming this other guy's name. Who the hell is rape? Let's look up, um, feminist jokes. Here we go. What do you call a letter from a feminist? Hate mail. I went to a feminist picnic the other day. It was great, apart from the fact no one made any sandwiches. Teach a man to fish and he will eat for a lifetime. Teach a feminist to fish and she will accuse you of patronizing her or claim she knew how to do it anyway, and even if she did, she could easily work it out without the help of a man. These are so true, it it almost hurts. Because, like, every time I read one, it's just, oh, reality check. How many feminists does it take to change a light bulb? None. It's not the light bulb that needs changing. Ah, goddamn. What do you call a happy feminist? I'll let you know if I ever see one. How do you confuse a feminist? Tell her that you refuse to allow her to make a sandwich. Okay. Tell her that you refuse to allow her to make you a sandwich. Oh, got it. I don't feminists go to the gym because it has a male name. I take off my hat to militant fem- Oh, here. I gotta get in character for this one. I took off my hat to militant feminists. They don't like that. What's the first question during a feminist quiz night? What are you looking at? Okay, here's another light bulb one. How many feminists does it take to screw in a light bulb? Twelve. One to screw it in. One to excoriate excoriate men for creating the need for illumination, one to blame men for inventing such a faulty means of, illu of illumination, one suggests the whole screwing may be a bit too rape-like, one to deconstruct the light bulb itself as being phallic, one to blame men for not changing the bulb, one to blame men for trying to charge the bulb instead of letting the woman do it, one to blame men for creating society that discourages women from changing light bulbs, one to blame men for creating society where um, women change too many light bulbs, one to advocate the light bulb changers should wage parity with electricians, one to alert media that women are now out light bulbing men. One to just sit there taking pictures of her blog for photo evidence that men are unnecessary. That's it. I can't do this. I am triggered right now. I can't watch. I can't read those anymore. Need a break? I need, you know what? No. It's not a break. You know what I need? Damn it, I don't have a wig. Wait, I'll do this. I need feminism. Cue the feminist rock star music. Boom. See? You need feminism. You know why? Because men are pieces of shit. They make jokes like that. Who needs jokes like that in their life? I think that that's going to help anybody throughout their life. I mean, if somebody's maybe having a bad day and needs to read up a joke, and they read that one and actually laugh at it, you knock down their door. Fucking tell them, man. We'll call the police on you. I've got mace. And they'll just be like, but I was just reading a joke. And you'll be like, I don't care. It's fucking patriarchy taking over your life. Bitch.
All right. I hope you guys enjoyed some triggering offensive jokes. And the reason that I wanted to make this video to make a video about that is because I love those jokes. The reason that I love those jokes is because I, they're jokes. They're not meant to be taken seriously. They don't mean anything. But then you always get the people that are like, there's always some truth in jest. Yeah, it's just funny to go against stereotypes. My whole thing with all these social justice warriors, if they're really confident in the choices that they're making, like if you want to be a feminist, if you believe that your choices are correct, then you shouldn't care a joke that somebody who is completely insignificant in your life makes. So, like, if you're a feminist and a guy makes a joke about feminism that you don't even know, why does he matter? Why are you taking the time out of your day to go after him? Oh, yeah, that's right, because you're a feminist. Got nothing better to do with your time. Well, the water bottle is down. Water bottle flip. Nope, nope, that just almost knocked over my computer. Water bottle flip. Nope, didn't make it. But, yeah, that's feminism for you. That's social justice for you. But that's going to be it for now. This was Artman239 in the chatterbox. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Crab, 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 and undead. Mr. Crab is in there, standing at the concession. Plot plotting his oppression. Mr. Crab is undead. I like that one.